Hello everybody, I'm Michael Anton Adam and I create real blockchain solutions through innovative software. I also am an instructor of blockchain technology at Marquette University. So in our last lesson, we talked about what is blockchain technology? Um, we talked about it being a ledger and it being kind of controlled and monitored by this huge network of people and computers. So today we're going to dive a little bit deeper into that type of network. Uh, we're also going to go over some other type of networks as well. And when I talk about networks, I'm talking about a computing network. So in blockchain, uh, you might hear the letters D -L -T. DLT stands for Distributed Ledger Technology. And that's the type of computing network that blockchain leverages. Um, there's two others I want to go over. So we're going to kind of start from the beginning and build up to DLT. The first one we're going to go over is a centralized network. And that type of network is centered around, I'm just going to use the word computer uh, instead of uh, database or, or uh, so we have a central computer in this network and these other computers are talking to that centralized computer or that main computer. Now the bad thing is, is if anything happens to this centralized computer, uh -oh, <laughs> we got a problem. Uh, then all these other computers are, are, are lost. So that's centralized. The next type of computing network we're going to talk about is a decentralized um, computing network. And that also has some semblance of a access or a full Chrome computer. Um, but then you have other computers connected that then can talk. That centralized one. Now, let's say somebody hacked, and this this is kind of what the internet uses, a uh, combination of this and distributed. Um, so if you know somebody takes out this computer, it's okay, the network's still fine. If somebody takes out uh, this, you know, we have some issues, but um, we still have other branches that, that are there and existing. Um, so that's decentralized network. And now we're going to go over to a distributed uh, network, hence distributed ledger technology. So in distributed, you have all of these computers, access points. There's no, if, if you notice, I didn't start off with a centralized or a main uh, computer in the middle. And everything is connected to everything which means there is no real weak point in this network or in the link. So you can just keep drawing lines if you want. You could go all day long. Uh, the great thing about this is that it's really hard to hack this and it's really hard to, uh, to break this. And this is why blockchain leverages this type of distributed ledger or distributed uh, network, making it a distributed ledger technology. So, I hope you like my pictures. Uh, guys, I really appreciate it. Um, you know, this channel is all about teaching you lessons on blockchain technology. I'm going to try to do this daily for you guys. I'm going to try. Uh, but I'm going to commit to you that I am going to do as best as I can and give you the best content that I can that's digestible and hopefully a little bit of fun for you. So if you like what we're doing here, please like, share, and subscribe. That's a big one, obviously, because um, I really want to... Uh, have you guys enjoy what, what we're doing here. So I really appreciate it and uh, have a good weekend.